How's it going? Today we're gonna go over three tips that I think are gonna get you much better at your drawing. This is aimed for beginners. So if you're a beginner, stick around, you're gonna like it. Stick all the way to the end. I have a little minor announcement at the very end of the video. Until then, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna go over these three tips relatively quick. While I'm doing that, I, I'm gonna be working on this sketchbook page, uh, just so you have something to look at, kind of entertained. And I, I am gonna, it is gonna pertain a little bit to it. Um, this is a praying mantis uh, out of my sketchbook. I decided to put it in different poses. But let me go over the first tip. The first tip is warm up. So warming up is incredibly important. Uh, it's actually something that I'm ashamed to say that I didn't really, I didn't really do for a lot of the first uh, kind of part of my drawing career. I didn't warm up and I didn't understand uh, a lot about it. I didn't really get the point. And the reason for that was because I was drawing constantly and I never really, I don't know, I would say I never needed to warm up, but I mean, to some extent, I, w I was never really needing to warm up because I was drawing every day. Uh, when I started drawing, I started drawing every day for seven hours every single day. When I started, I wanted to catch up to people I thought had essentially passed me up or, uh, you know, I started to draw at a late age. I started to draw about 18, uh, 19, and I really wanted to catch up to everybody else who's been drawing since they were five years old. Uh, so I had kind of that on me. So, but after that, after I got like a career and I, I drew a little bit less, uh, I noticed I wasn't, uh, things weren't coming out as much as I wanted to in terms of like my ability to just immediately, you know, be on. And what helped was when someone told me to warm up. So what warming up does is it pulls all the uh, information you have, the, the kind of technique, the, you know, all, all the stuff that you have, the, the, the anatomy and uh, structure and all that stuff, it starts to pull that to surface. It kind of reminds you, it brings it back up so that you can use it in your drawing. And so what I usually do to warm up is all I do is I uh, pretty much just doodle anything. Like I, I just scribble, uh, very, just doodle anything, anything, draw anything you want. Like pick a random object in your room and just draw it. I'll make another video on maybe several ways to warm up, but that's pretty, it's pretty easy. You just draw literally anything but that you don't value. You don't, you don't go right into your piece that you're gonna be working on for that day. Okay, tip number two is just draw. Uh, I know a lot of people have an issue with, with, uh, just, just getting getting started. Uh, that's a big issue. Uh, I know when I was teaching different people, I used to tutor people, uh, not people, I used to tutor kids. And I noticed that they weren't doing their homework. And by homework, I mean anything. Because the only homework I, I gave them was draw anything, maybe do two or three drawings, bring it to me, and then I can go over it with you. And so you're not spinning your wheels. And uh, they just found it really hard to start actually drawing. And I, I get that question a lot. Um, how do I get myself inspired or motivated? You're not supposed to get inspired or motivated. That stuff happens after the fact. You start moving your, your pencil or pen, and uh, as you're drawing, you start to kind of gain this momentum in your mind. You're like, whoa, this is fun. Or, wow, this is cool to do. And that will kind of, your inspiration kind of comes afterward for the most part. So just start. Don't think about it. Don't don't even think about it at all. I'm not even saying don't overthink it. Don't think about it. Pick it up. Start doodling. Start doodling anything. And you're going to find yourself starting to get inspired to draw while you're doing that. That comes afterward. After action. Okay? Inspiration comes after action. Number three, uh, check your ego. Uh, don't be so egotistical about what you're drawing. Um, you're just... You're learning. That's pretty much what you are. You are learning. You're an endless learning curve. Even I'm learning. Everyone, uh, professionals everywhere, they're always learning. So don't kind of get your ego wrapped up into what you're drawing or how good it has to be at any certain uh, rate. You don't have to be anywhere. I mean, I had, like I was saying earlier, I did want to draw, you know, I wanted to get better faster. That was a big thing for me. But for you, don't put yourself under unnecessary pressure or don't say, oh, I'm, I'm this old, I should be at this stage. Because you, you don't want to beat yourself up over it. There's really no value in that. If anything, uh, I heard that it's actually 
Uh, it makes you draw worse if you beat yourself up over something. You're like, oh no, because it brings up this negative mindset. Um, so try not to get your ego wrapped up in any anything you do. Just know that you're doing a process and you're learning a skill and you're it's ever changing and you got some good days, you got some bad days, um, especially as a beginner. Uh, as a beginner, your skill is like all over the map. Uh, you want to get it to a consistent level, usually around intermediate, and then you start growing it from there. But don't feel bad about, you know, making mistakes. Making mistakes, and I'm sure you've heard this in everybody's video, making mistakes is just part of the process. And the more mistakes you make, the better, because you can learn from them. Um, and so that's pretty much it. So the very last announcement I'm going to have really quick, I now have full programs, meaning uh, it's several videos that make up a single program on Skillshare. Go check that out. Skillshare is a creative community, a community of creatives. And I want you to think about it like Skillshare is essentially like YouTube, except, I mean, it's a little bit more string for quality. YouTube is free and you can just kind of crank out whatever you want. Uh, Skillshare, they really, really kind of do the quality control part of it. And uh, what they do is the, their actual program. So for example, I have a program on there like how to draw the eye. And it's several videos on really going in depth on how to draw an eyeball. And uh, I have another program on how to draw a dragon head. And I go over that in depth, pretty much uh, over a series of videos. And it's just kind of a different format. And the format, I think, lends to learning um, qual in a quality way much more than YouTube. Of course, there's amazing things on YouTube as well. But I do recommend going on Skillshare. Uh, right now, this is for you guys. Uh, the first few people that click the link in the description uh, get two months free of Skillshare. You can always just get it. If you don't like it, uh, you can always just cancel it after the two months, but it's gonna be totally free if you click that link. I'm gonna put the top link in the description. Uh, but yeah, go check it out, see if you like it, and also watch my programs. Like I said, if you go there and click that link, you can watch all my programs for free on there. Um, but alright, thank you so much guys, I appreciate it. If you liked all that, please click the like and subscribe. I'll be posting here a lot more. The more you guys comment and like, the more I post. Uh, and thank you so much, I will see you guys next time.